All right, so I was just thinking, I don't, I don't think I've ever really shown this on here before. Uh, point of pride of the collection and finding it was a game changer. I think I got it in either late April or early May. Um, and as you can tell, it gets its own storage unit. Nothing else goes in it, even when it's not in storage. And it is a Marks made Lunar Exploration Miniature Playset. And when they say miniature, they ain't joking. Um, comes in a window box configuration, or came in a window box type configuration. This one, you know, it's seen some time in the trenches, but it's still still with us. A little mar there on the side. Gorgeous little thing. Making sure the box is safe. Uh, gorgeous little set. There we go. Uh, with some sculpted or vacuum formed uh, terrain pieces, some of the smaller figures, and this incredible space tank. Um, which, uh, according to the notes on the Operation Moon Base, there is a Project Sword Moon Base Alpha blog, I think it's called, is identified as either an M47 or M48 patent tank with the bubble and antenna attached and, and cast in white to make it look all spacey. And it came in this marvelous uh, diorama, a display box, printed diorama effect there with some 3D stuff that has, you know, gotten bent over time. Um, it's still tied down, so it's still technically new and unused. Here's the side and bottom of it where you can see how the ties poke through and how simply it, it was constructed with just basic folds and staples along the sides um, from a template or printed form and there are variations on the set with certainly the figures and I've seen some with more um, moon rocks and different vehicles um, which may even help to date it uh, I've been examining one uh, online that has a smaller version of this hill climbing uh, moon scout I believe that's what it called mine's missing the antenna right in the back but it shrunk down to about that size and while this one does not have I don't think it's there the dating on it um, I've got some in green and blue that I've shown that are both dated as uh, 1968. So 1968, 1969, uh, height of the moon fever after Apollo 11 landed 50 years ago yesterday. And they shrunk down some of their Operation Moon Base guys. And I got out the uh, matching figures here. There's the point dude from Moon Base and then a smaller version um, from the uh, Disneyland playset that I found. That's the correct markings on the base of that. So they give you point guy, they give you leap guy, who's back there in white uh, with the painted feature, and then they give you what I call helmet guy here in the front. And his face is printed like sort of smushed, like he's turning into the thing or something like that. And I love looking at the uh, moon terrain pieces and thinking of how to simulate my own. I've been working with uh, rocks and, and cement and, and, and wood. Um, and ultimately, I'd like to try uh, vacuum forming 
my own kind and and just just to sort of hammer the point home here's a couple of the NPC pose space guys one of them is sort of in leap mode but their uniforms or spacesuits and the way that their figures are are addressed uh, including their facial characteristics is completely different than the objectives behind the marks pieces they're also shorter so it's correct to call these marks style um, but they are MPC and distributed through multiple toy makers amongst other companies. I forgot to mention that in my little video essay the other day. And I literally went out and got myself a little light so I could illuminate the shelf and have my miniature lunar exploration playset hand-painted by artist Set Marks here on my oval shelf to enjoy and study. Thing eats up a lot of batteries. And I'm totally in love with it. Uh, it's a good approximation of the kind of space toy collections, designer space toy collections that I'm hopefully gonna, gonna sort of produce myself. I know I could study how that box was put together and again I'm, I'm already working on the terrain forms I need my own spacemen and I got to figure out how to correctly appropriate space tank materials by the way his canopy revolves the complete 360 degrees I like to have him looking at me driving that thing sideways that's badass awesome little thing and you never know might find another. Well, I know where to find another. I just don't have one.